if you are new, new, and never made a product, I would say bath bomb number one assessment is a very easy one. But bath bombs can be tricky. Depend if you're in a really humid area, you need a dehumidifier straight off the bat. Um, whipped soap. I would say I whipped soap because they just seem to sell so well for everybody. Uh, the base is quite expensive to make, but it, you get a lot of pots from it and the margin on each pot is quite good. So if you've got a little bit more to invest, I would go whipped soap route because they do sell well. Um, the melt and pour soaps, I'm trying to think of how you could sort of fill a big shelf quite quickly. And I would say you need a couple of assessments. So luckily as a half price at the moment. So if you think of bath bombs, you'll get the bath bomb and you'll use it once and then it's gone, so it will need replacing. So generally the turnaround for them is a little bit better. They are quite cheap to manufacture, so you can do nice little bundles and little hampers and things like that. Um, and you can pad that out with even cheaper items. So bars of melt and pour soap, they're really easy to make. They are really easy to look really nice with different patterns and swirls and stuff like that as well. So I would say probably, you know, it depends what you want. If you wanted to make it like little hampers and gift sets, you're gonna need a couple of different items. I would definitely say bath bombs. If you haven't got the time and the patience to learn about bath bombs, I would probably skip them. And I'll probably go for the whipped soap. I would probably go for liquid soap uh, because it, that's really cheap to make. I think it's four, it's um, a shampoo, a shower gel, a hand wash, and bubble bath. But then, you know, anything sort of bubbly that rinses off, you could use it for if you can think of anything else. If you want to fill like a shelf, or if you want like a craft stall or something like that, a fair, I would go for things that are easy to make, like whip soap. They're quite fun as well to make. Um, jelly soap, I really like, but they have discontinued the base. We still got lots of stock of it. At the moment we're doing a deal. So we've got the, basically add two qualifying items to your basket to get 10% off. And the qualifying items are jelly soap assessments or five kilos of jelly base. So if you order two tubs of five kilos of jelly base, it's 10% off. If you order 10 tubs, it's 10% off. If you order two assessments, 10% off, or you know what I mean. Um, but that that is quite easy to do. So. If you wanted that as like a limited edition type product, I would say that because although we're still selling the assessment, because it's still in need, people still want it. We still, it was, we took it off the website and people emailed it and I was just about to buy that. And I said, well, the base is going to get discontinued. You don't, you know, you don't have an assessment for something that eventually you're not going to be able to use. And I was like, no, I can make my money back on my first batch of it. Like get the assessment sold. I want it. So we've said to people, you know, that's why we've discounted it the best that we can it's just while the stocks of the base last, but you can still make a profit from like one or two batches from it. So even if you didn't have it for years, but that's just one of them things.